What's up, everybody? Welcome back and welcome to Just Us. We're reacting to Hunter Hunter last episode. You be not you, yeah, you be died. You be quite literally dead. Oh, oh, when he pulled up on um, when he pulled up on Welfin and then got shot. Yep, motherfucker died. Yep, all his power is in the is was in the king, so he couldn't do shit. Also, we found out last episode the king, the king, UP, and Poof are all suffering from the same thing, which we, I'm guessing we all kind of like just said it was radiation poisoning from the blast. Yeah, I think they're, I think they have radiation poisoning. It makes think... sense. It's probably how they would die. I mean, it makes sense, right? It makes the most sense of how to kill them because they're not just going to be able to live in the world free of charge. I hope there's a real one in the comments that will be like me and agree. The Royal Guard's deaths are low-key depressing, all right? No. What do you mean? He was a depressing. phenomenal death. She got absolutely just fucking whacked. So, Nathan, would you say she got absolutely she got By that man right Nathan, there, got would, fucking whacked. Nathan, would you agree she got absolutely what she deserved? Yeah. Is she just, is she allowed to just go around and kill people? That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that their deaths are low-key sad because I wanted more of a fight. And I understand what you're gonna say. This is a story anime, which is all great. I just expected. No, I think you. I think P two died the most same way. This man Gone used all of his fucking life force to just kill her. Didn't even care if it killed him. I'm just. I just wish there would have been a. All right. So when the Karapika Uvo fight happened, I was like, okay, let's fucking go. Like, Uvo yeah. But the difference is, none of them, none of those two people used all. Of this dude going literally made it to where he did not care if he died. Like, there, there's no way there could have been a fight. Like, they had to make him OP in that moment. Otherwise, then what's the point of using all your life for? It's crazy as fuck. It's like you're not hearing me. I'm happy at that. I just wish we could have gotten that fight. Like, who, we've who, been waiting forever. Let me ask you something. Who would have killed P2? I'm sorry? Not, who would have... Who would have... Kalu and Go. Kalu, that was Kalu the plan. Go would have got fucking whacked by P2. They were supposed to kill. They, they would have got absolutely fucking whacked. Nathan, how you gonna say that? How you gonna say that? Go and kill P2. What are you, what are you talking about? Yeah, but, but for there to be a fight, Go should have not, would have not had to be able to do that, right? And if, if Go never if did Gon that. If didn't go, go into that form, he would have never killed P2. He would have got immediately destroyed yeah. by P2. Nathan. So what did Kilo? So how do you make it a fair fight? Nathan. In that sense. You're telling me you that. You would have had a week in P2. And that wouldn't, that wouldn't have been fun because, like, why would I, why would we want to see a. A battle of a weakened enemy. Nathan, you're telling me that if he would have buffed up like that, and then they would have fucking brawled, that to, wouldn't to have been me, more exciting for no, you? No, to me, that would have been like, th th this would have been like what Gon's doing is basically point. Like, you're telling me all of Gon's whole life, it's not like he's at his tip top, it's like what he has now and what he'll have later is combined into one. So it's like, if like Gon did all that and he's only just sparring with P2 and not absolutely destroying her that would have made no sense to me i'm like then how why is she, why is their power so much more infinite than someone who is one in like a hundred million of a person in the world all of his power at once combined to me that would have made gold seem weaker i think, I think, I think, this I think is crazy I think that would have made gold seem I, weaker I, I guarantee i think david's argument here like i think he just wanted the fight to be longer Gon was on the king's level. I, Nathan, pre bomb. So I get it. if he's on the, I mean, if he's on the, if he's on the king's level pre bomb, the king is waxing the absolute fuck out of P two. What do you think? The, what do you think Gon was gonna be? Nathan, gonna do? I agree with that. But okay. Look at all that we missed. We didn't get to see the P two and kite fight. We just got to saw his death. So we're like, oh shit! I can't wait till Gon gets that revenge. His revenge is not even, it's just- His revenge oh, was phenomenal. But, Nathan, Nathan. Bro, he Bro. did it to the, he was so selfish to the point where this man didn't even care about killing Kumagi. He just, he, and didn't care about killing himself. His revenge was phenomenal. You wanna know what made Karapika's move at the end? You wanna know what made her him bringing the shovel so fucking great to me? The fact that he actually fought for that kill but, and then murdered Uvo. But guess what though? Karapika and Uva were in similar were on similar skill were on similar like power level. While while Gon and Pito weren't. And that's what made bro. So why like let me ask you something. If Gon's on the king's level, you and you see them start like sparring, I'd be like, 
the, the king's not even that fucking is not even hyped up to be if he if Peach was able to spar with the king, but Peach was not able to. Nathan, that's what they did with the royal. They quite literally made the world scared of the royal guards. Okay, but the royal guards are not on the king's level. So like, if they went head on in any of them, you'd be able to fucking murder everyone, all of them. Great. Without all these little extra shit. So, I mean, like, we got her back and forth with Yuppie. Pito was just stronger than everybody, so she's supposed to go back and forth. She was that much stronger than Kite, she, and then we didn't see her fighting anybody else. Exactly. Because she's, because of Kumagi. That's fucking unfortunate. And man. then Poof, I mean, he, Poof's not really, like, a fighter fighter like that. He, I think Poof is the s smartest one out of all of them except the king. Out of all the people that are Out of all the people that are most useful to the king, though, I think it would be Pito. Well, I'm talking oh, about yeah. being smart, like strategizing, anything like that. I uh -oh. think he's the smartest in realizing, like, yeah. We should have got more there. I'm gonna fuck. Need to get rid of poop. All down. I mean, we had like house. 40 episodes with them. That's a lot. I'm down on that hill. We, we need they weren't main there. characters. They were, they were here for an arc. Dead. Pito was the main character. And I think the end of the arc is next episode. So. You serious? Are you serious? Yeah, 135. I think was. Is, it's the last of the arc. So Damn! I figure out what's gonna happen then. Fucking got through it, ladies and gentlemen. Read it. It makes me mad though, because that means there's only 14 episodes of the last arc. Let's of Hunter? get to the episode. The rose had poison form. Okay. Yes. The poison which spread when the rose now came they're into explaining full bloom the poison, yep. was stronger than toxins similar in nature. That food Nitro is still doing damage. So there's a radiation poisoning, guaranteed. The poison killed was exquisitely timed. And allowed it to create a chain reaction of mass casualties. Damn! That's evil as fuck! It was a weapon expressly engineered to be the ultimate evil. Yeah, you fucking think? Hey. That, is evil, that is evil as fuck. When you think it's finally being used against the ants, yeah, it's good, but then. The but you beings, use it against yeah. human, other human beings, that's insane. <sighs> that's so fucked. That's so worse than what we have! Because I don't think our news have the fucking that they don't do that, right? The the, the after effects of the poisoning. No, the radiation um, is no, but that's radiation. These are carriers. Oh no, you're passing along. No, yeah, we that's didn't get that shit. That's fucking crazy. That's yeah. fucking insane. Because that shit started. That shit started killing animals. All that's left to do is for me to locate and capture all of the remaining intruders. But when he knocked out fucking knuckle on them that fast, it was fucking. That shit was hella fake. I will keep my word, sire, even if it costs me my life. Wise answer. <laughs> the fuck? Oh yeah, I remember he did this before with looking. I can see all that has changed since the first time I used N. And someone new who reacts to my N. Oh damn. Oh my god! Okay. Got there hella fast. Someone has killed Yubi. Was it you? <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> we were just talking. And then suddenly, Sir Yubi coughed up blood, doubled over in pain. Then he I believe him. Oh, I believe him. I believe him. Well, didn't kill him. Right. I'm not lying. I mean, sure, I did shoot Yubi. But oh. then, before he could even answer my question. Before my black centipedes even had a chance to hatch. Oh, damn. Yeah. In the royal guard, poof. Oh, he's trouble. Yep. Man, that poof's dying. Don't worry about him. I should accuse him of disloyalty and execute him. In any case, I must get him away from the king. I can now sense the emotions of everyone whom my N has touched. Damn! And his hostility towards me is quite extraordinary. <laughs> oh, <laughs> bro, the king post bomb is ridiculous. Like, incredible. In the exact moment someone has been exposed to my N, I become able to see into their heart. Hey, yeah, oh, just yeah. wait, hold on. The king is invincible. The king is oh, unrivaled. And yet, can't write. It's almost insane. Why? Hell, uh, why? Your hatred is undeniable, and I am quite interested to learn what drives it. Speak. What do you lie to me, and you will regret it. 
This is no time. <laughs> <laughs> His eyes. Lord Merwin, please Fucking forgive hate. me for speaking out of turn. Gotta be slack. Oh my, bruh, these eyes. Most menacing person ever, bruh. I can use the truth to muddle the facts. If you desire. This boy is dying. When I saw how you'll be shrunken from a giant down to the size of a bug, I started thinking I might be strong enough to take down the king. Oh, but that was just a delusion. Damn it! It's all that octopus's fault! That little bastard threw me off my game! He messed with my emotions! I let him lead me astray! Duh, messenger my ass! <laughs> yeah. Is he blaming, uh, fucking... Whatever that fool's name is. The cobble? There. And the message? Poof's secret? The root of my hatred? If I tell him everything I know, will it be enough to save me? Just one word will decide whether I live or die. I was overthinking it a little too much, but... Uh, I don't know. I mean, you see the king, he had no chance. Tell me, does Welfin's malice have any relationship to the secret you are keeping? Jesus Yo! Christ. Think carefully before you answer. He's talking to Poof, right? I want a sincere answer. This is... The king's new power meant he had access to the answer. He could probe Poof's mind for it without waiting for him. <laughs> what the what? fuck, he, bro? Although he understood that he had Poof's absolute devotion, the king's deathly aura revealed his intent. God damn! Loyalty. Hostility. Each of these factors were equally meaningless in the eyes of the king. No one could stop him. And I'll beat the king's ass, all right, bruh? One v one, I'm taking him down. Yeah, okay. I have no words left to say. We are in the midst of our match. Nothing less. Nothing more. Merwin is about to murder this man? You would think he would have compassion, like he's already dying. Mm. He must see that. I am hungry. <laughs> But an e woman? This is it. He's going to eat. <laughs> oh, I was about to say. One second from now. Bro, this anxiety is just too much right now. It's like, holy I'm shit. I'm dead. Sensing his own fate, <laughs> Welfin began to age. And within. Damn. What, bro? I want to live. I want to live! In what his mind, Welvin's entire life passed by him in a jumbled flash. And then it burst, blending seamlessly with a present. My god, he's a hairless cat! <laughs> this motherfucker aged! <laughs> One word. The message for the king. One word. What Poof discussed with Pito. One word. Poof's secret. One word! Yo, he's stressing out. One word! Don't die until you're dead! What? His brain worked feverishly as it never had before, and selected a word that under normal conditions never would have occurred to him. Ew. Komugi? Komugi. <laughs> oh, Let's go! To me, that should the king should literally spare him for that. For so, real, right, bro. Because now everything's gonna come back to you. That was dope. Komagi is the king's world, and it, I don't. It's like on a platonic level too. This is a strong bond. It's weird. <laughs> this motherfucker, bro. This is. It's over. This is how intensely he cares for her. Oh, yeah, because he can feel yeah. what the king feels. Okay. He cares more than I feared. I will accept any punishment. Imagine he hugs him. You know what it shall be. I do not have to speak it. You and I are of one mind. 
I do not. He's gonna eat him. Yep. Continue searching for Pito. What? The two captured intruders may know something. All I can do is nod in assent. Oh, he's gonna let like the. I mean, obviously he wouldn't let Kion and Ki Kilo go because they don't have Kimigi, but. All signs lead to one solution. Well, Finn. Oh my God. Is it connected to your deep and sudden hatred of me by any chance? Let's be honest. Ah, yes. Now please be at ease. You don't have to. You can see his fucking art. Like. You have my thanks. It's because of you that I remembered something important. There we go. I respect the king, bruh. To be this powerful and everybody's scared of you? Gyro is the only man I will ever call king! Oh, shit. You! All of you! Your enemies! Do you hear me? You gonna slap him? No? I am Gyro. <laughs> that fucking flipped me out, man. I hope you see him. I truly do. Whoosh! And, if possible, go live a human life. Oh. Wow. AK, I, I respect the king, bro. Hella respect for the king. Netero once believed that the king was wavering on the brink that lies between the human world and the I think he's on his human side now. But now. He's on his human side, he's 100%. Because, like, if. I don't think he would have said go live a human life or anything like that. If it if, wasn't, if, if, he, was if, he, did, if he didn't remember Kumagi. But now that he remembers Kumagi, all that rushed back to him of like originally what like, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep it like this. I think Kumagi, Kumagi gave him a little bit of respect for human life. Like, cause I feel like before he didn't like the way human beings were like doing shit and running shit. And yeah, now they're, like, like, they're, not, they're not powerful as me. Like, I, they don't need to be, what they're fucking my processing plant. Exactly. Yeah, and then that's when now, remember, and then, remember in the speech he had with Netero, he was like, oh, I like the humans, how they run shit in this world doesn't make sense to people who were born in power and have no, like, have no power on one side. Mm -hmm. And the and there's people on the other side suffering. These people in power are not even helping the people that are suffering. I don't think the king even originally thought that of that, and I don't even think he was thinking that until he got reincarnated, until he remembered Kumagi. So I think I think right now the king was probably originally gonna go back um, with this plan that he originally had before he met Kumagi. The processing plan. Until he remembered Kumi, Kumagi again, and that's why he's like, "Go live a human life" and all this stuff, and didn't end up killing Poof or. Wolfen. I don't know why, but at this point, I still feel Poof should have died. Yep. Because it's over here like, bro, yeah. you, this entire, like, watching this entire episode, that's why I tapped Nathan on the shoulder. I'm gonna be like, Nathan, you caught that too, right? Poof is actively saying that he's keeping secrets from from the king, but the king knows what the secrets are, so why are you lying? He didn't know every secret, though. He didn't know of Kumagi. He didn't know of Kumagi because he just couldn't remember. You know what I'm saying? That was a piece yeah, so of he didn't know. He didn't know of the secrets. Yeah, but, that, but all I'm saying is, wouldn't you agree? Like, wouldn't, wouldn't you agree? It's kind of weird that Poof is still alive. If the king, if the king and Poof were having conversations, and Poof was actively admitting, "Oh yeah, I'm keeping a secret." Well, from the you. king turned into not just a straight up murderer. We see he yeah, obviously we, developed into just like, "Oh, I'm just gonna murder you based on sight now." And we just let Cameron. We just all came to a collective. But that fool's on his human shit right now. Like maybe. And he, I yeah. love it. And Kevin. So of course he's not gonna murder his royal guard. No, he's on his human shit right now. Oh, because he has and to do with him. Kevin, okay. at that he still has a task for Poof. Go find the intruders. Yeah. And let him go. No, I gotta ask him some questions. Well, then let them go. Now he doesn't have. No, no, no he, he literally, literally said, "Let them go." I have nothing else to ask. No, he no, said, "I have nothing else to ask them." Find them, and then let him go. I have nothing more to ask them. Now that he got now, after he heard about Kumugi, that's all the information he needs to know. So hold on, let me just say. No, I was no, I did hear no, them, he but I could have swore it said. Moment. Yeah, I could have swore he said find them. I'm and pretty sure they go. still have. Let me finish. Find them. I'm pretty sure they still have a few answers to my questions. Then let them go. That's what I heard. No, he said go find go find the intruders. Uh, go find um. He said go find uh Pito with the intruders. Let them go because I have no questions to ask him anymore. Go back, because I could have swore. Bro, maybe I'm bugging, dude. I don't. Cause I, I could have swore. I, just, I, I heard you're bugging, but I heard the I heard the dialogue too. I heard he said go find them and then let them go. That's no, I heard let them go at the end. You know what I mean? But I heard some something questions. I'm like, yeah, okay. I have no more questions for them. What other questions would he have? 
I know, I'm not gonna lie though. He did reference two questions. That's what I'm saying. He did, you know he did say something in that sentence saying, "I have two questions, or I have uh, two fucking questions, or something like that for them." I'm just reminded of that part. Yeah, it's forward. forward. <laughs> that whole he went hairless. Oh my fuck! Like disgusting though. I'm like, damn, bro. That's actually never be that scared of somebody. Like, you can you age that no. Nope. Okay, Nova is fucking ridiculous. Like Nova literally became an old man in a in a couple episodes just because of that shit. I never had a chance. Once you are done, go back. That's what I'm saying. They may know something, so I'm like, okay, so you still have something that you want to figure out. He said, I have nothing else to ask them. Yeah, but like, so why, so why, why? If they, if they may know something, you have nothing else to ask them. You're not interested in what they may know. Exactly. But you're asking Poof. They may, if they may know something about Komagin. Yeah, but they're, they, that's why he's okay. asking Poof to go figure that out. No, so, he's like, they may know something because he's probably originally going to find them to get answers. Like, they may know something, but I have everything I need to know, so I have nothing else to ask them. But they may then something. why would he ask that question to begin with? That, that, why would, that he, say, why would he say they may they may know something, but I have nothing else to have to ask him? They, they may, may know, know something because I was originally gonna ask him, like shit, but I don't have anything to ask him anymore. Like man, then the dialogue is really threw me for a fucking I mean, loop. But whatever. Say anything and it was just translated differently. Oh, then now he pushes the Japanese. It's not gonna make well, any better. It's just Japanese. Well, no, I subtitles. think the subtitles are gonna stay the same though. Yeah, dialogue. I think the. Yeah, I'm telling you right now, if we were watching this shit in Japanese, I'd be like, holy shit. I think the king's voice fits him perfectly. No, he still has a menacing voice for, like, English, but I'm telling you right now. I didn't, I mean, I didn't think the Japanese voice fit him, but right there. His Japanese voice is hard as fuck. Okay, so. Whose voice still sounds the same? This is so English. Okay, so back to this fucking, this whole welfare thing. This motherfucker was so unbelievably terrified. He aged 50-something, like, bro. Never be that scared of somebody. Like, what is wrong with you? Well, you also gotta realize there's the whole, the whole Nen thing. Remember how, like, the aura can terrify you or something like that? So imagine the king's post-bomb. We saw, we saw people's aura can affect you, like, to that matter, to being that feared. Based off no being the example. Yeah, no is an example of how aura can affect you. See, dude, that just makes me think about real, like, day-to-day shit, because you know there's people out there that are fucking our age who stress so fucking much that they already have gray and white hairs, and you're like, God damn, dude, oh, like, what the fuck oh. is wrong with you? Oh, no, they don't. I know. We got a friend right now. We got a friend right now that every time I see him, I'm like, bro, we are the same age. And what are you really stressing about like that? Like, bro, I need to know. Like, that's... I mean, some stuff is also genetics. Oh, gosh. Damn. Do you tell me in your gene pool of family or whatever the fuck, you age, your, your you family know? has been stressing and that shit was birthed no, on you? You get white hairs earlier in age just based off genetics. That's so tough. That is so fucking hey, tough. White hair can look dope though sometimes. Have no. You ever seen like anime characters with white hair? Bro, you're white talking hair? to somebody who is actively advocates white hair. Davion. Okay. I, I think white Davion? hair with the right hairstyle and on the right person could look dope. Like, uh, um, Devil May Cry. Dante from Dump- Devil May Cry. Okay, that's just a badass mother. But I'm not oh saying that it, 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 depending on the hairstyle and how the person looks, it could look dope. I'm telling you right now, if I get hella white hairs. Imagine all this fucking Targa- the Targaryens. Yeah, but we don't fuck with the Targaryens, really right? But my point is, like, That's their really hair hard. color, like, it looks dope. I mean, it's pretty clean, but it's still, like... You've seen Daenerys, and you've seen Daemon Targaryen, like, my... Daenerys is cool. Daemon, that motherfucker's still weird as fuck. He can't say shit to me. That's, That's what we need to watch. That's one show that... Isn't that isn't that another episode about the drop this coming week? I think it dropped. But, um... Yeah, that was a good episode. Can you guys believe this motherfucker Welfin really thought... I thought I was gonna be able to kill the king. My bro, really, bro, dude, who, who the fuck you? Come on, bro, now. you're you're still in crutches. Like, they, you're like still bro, in crutches. You feel me? Like, no, like the king could be affected from radiation or not. You really think? You feel me? You're gonna kill the king? 
Yeah, that was fucking dumb as fuck. But shout out to. Shout out to Welfin. I didn't think I was going to like Shout Welfin. Out to Shout Welfin. out to Welfin, bro. Like, And then he stood up to the king and was over here like, I don't bow down to you. you know? I bow down to Gyro. Realistically, you could think that Komagi is probably, I mean, maybe the strongest Welfin. Character. No, no, no. It's the strongest? She's the strongest character. Hands down. I mean, you could say Welfin. Honestly, I mean, you might even be able to throw Welfin in this, but like the most important character in the whole show. As far as this art? No, just the whole show. Komagi? Yeah. Because without Komagi, the king would literally take over the world. But when you say the whole show, there's a handful of... Gon is obviously the most... Gon isn't stopping the king. Yeah, no, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not comparing that. who's stopping who. We're, com- we're, com- I'm, we're comparing... You're saying Komagi is the most important out of the entire show. You realize you're saying the entire show. I feel there's, like she's only important for this arc because she's a part of the king's yeah, arc. If she wasn't here, the king is taking over the world. Okay, but that's, if the, that's if we're not having a show anymore, if Gon wasn't here, we're not having a show Wait, anymore. Wait, you're motherfucker. You just said Gon was just as powerful. Okay, as but the thing is, the world doesn't revolve around Gon. You're right, but you're telling me you're telling like other anime, quite literally. Usually, other animes, the world revolves around the main character. Gon. Well, I mean, there's four main characters with Hunter, but yeah. Based there's on who's main characters? Character. Uh, there's two main the characters. Creator of the show. Uh, no. The creator of the show literally said he's made four main characters. Um, the king isn't one of them. No, Gon, Kravika, Leorio, and Killua. I wouldn't even right. consider Mr. Leorio a main character. He, he's a main, he, you don't consider him a main character we haven't seen him, but in the next arc in the manga, he is a main character in the, in the manga. And that's I hope so. Just as of what I've seen as of late, if it was main characters, it goes Gon, it goes Gon, Gon Killua, Kravika, and then Mr. Leorio. But Straight the up. The thing is, it's like the world doesn't revolve around one character like usually it usually does in anime. It's like the, the world revolves around like... Like yeah, every show usually revolves around the main character. The world revolves around them, but in this show, the world doesn't revolve around Gon mm-hmm. or Leoria or Karapika or Gilawa or the King. Because shit just happens without. They just happen to run into shit. Okay. Like Gon and Gilawa, like just fucking happened to run into fucking Kite the second he started dealing with Chimera ants. Yeah, that was pretty. Well, it was because of that fucking box that they found. Or that little yeah, but what is the yeah. odds of that happening right then and there? Right. right. That shit was fucking nice. Dude. While actually... while Kite is actively like hunting the Chimera ants. If the Chimera ants would have never picked up Nin, they would have been had they ass beat. I still say this right now. You feel me? As we get to as we get towards the end, if we don't even see Jing once, I'm gonna be actually mad. I'm about to be so fucking hurt. Be I'm actually give mad. A fuck about Jing anymore. You say you don't give a fuck. I just want going to be okay. He's never using Nen ever again in his life. Yeah, but that man is beat the fuck up. You see him? You see Killua fucking carrying his body? He's emotionally beat. Physically, he didn't... That man is physically destroyed! He's not physically... The, the, his opponent didn't fight back. For the fact that... Okay, but all the whole life... His whole life force just got destroyed. Sure did. It sure did. Thank you guys all for watching the video. If you like the video, like subscribe. Let's talk to you guys in the comments. We want to see you guys on Twitter as well. So please follow us at just underscore us. YT is in YouTube. Shout out to Greg. You guys can notification bell, bottom right hand corner. Missing any of our episodes, just the logo in the bottom left hand corner. Appreciate all the love we give platform to platform. But like, comment, and subscribe on this video because we do appreciate it. Didn't know my name is Cameron. Davion. Nathan. Ladies and germs. It's been just us. <laughs>